What is, what is meant when people say the universe is consciousness? What does that mean? Right. It, you, the essence of it is that the world is not made up of independent, separate things anymore. Meaning, the, the, the idea that the world is made up of separate things, uh, this Newtonian view inevitably leads to an idea that it's a big machine and that we are separate from it all. But the world view that the world is made up of consciousness that opens up a whole new idea that, for instance, that um, the world is conscious, the world is able to, the world is, is aware that the surroundings that we inhabit are not just these things and walls and, and objects, but that it's actually um, a surrounding that is able to respond to one, to respond to the, the state you are in, to um, the idea of the world being made up of things leads to a technological approach where we try to manipulate reality based on um, things, but the, the world being made up of consciousness would radically shift our approach to reality where you would no more try to manipulate reality. You, it would be much more of an approach where you enter into a dialogue with reality, where, where the relationship becomes the basic unit. Like many, many quantum physicists have said that we, are, we haven't yet found the, the fundamental building block of reality. Actually, we have, um, because the fun, what we found is that, in, in, at least in, in psychology, the psychology that I practice, is that the fundamental building block is the relationship, the pair. And within that concept, I am part of that pair, of that relationship that reality is made up of. So that's what we hear when we, 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 we hear people talk about fractals or whole parts. Because in that, the, the, in that smallest part, you find the whole. While in the Newtonian view, the smallest the, this part would be just a separate cog. So in the, the smallest part, in terms of this new worldview, would be the relationship. And that is uh, a radical shift because if, if, if the relationship is the basic entity, the basic building block, and we're talking about a, re a world made up of fundamentally of consciousness, then um, the basic approach to reality would be not anymore one of uh, taking it apart and manipulating it, but it would be one of dialogue. We, need, we would need to talk to reality listen to reality and so for instance if you take an example of your body the old approach would approach the body as actually a separate something from yourself and the, the, the medical approach medical science would be studying how it all works but the new approach would say that no the body is a, is a, is a information system that is intimately related to you. So we would have to look for the right relationship with the body. We would look to a, if the body would be ill, we would look to enter into a dialogue with the body. What is the body telling me? Why? The why. So, the, so the, the whole, actually the whole approach would shift to an information and a communication approach. The body would manifest symptoms because it would be trying to tell me something. That's also what we find when we say the world is made up of consciousness. The world would be able to communicate with me. So we would be living in an interactive reality where not only the body would be able to communicate with us, but also 
the world around us. And now, in, because we experience the world as separate from us, we are much more into the, manip the manipulation of the world and not into this, into a dialogue. And that's where we come into the approach. What's the, how do we live in this, in a world that we acknowledge as being alive and conscious and able to interact with us? You see? Um, that's a whole new approach. And while a lot of quantum physicists are acknowledging that the, the world is made up of not of things, but it's based on relationships. It is in psychology and, and in Jung that we find an, an approach to this new worldview. And that's what I would like to address today also. So, explain us what is the approach? Is there a method? Well, yes, the, the approach becomes that we have to be in a, we have to constantly be in a, in a dialogue with the world. The world would be conscious and able to react to us and able to give us um, signals, messages. Um, so we would be looking at the world in terms of meaning and the, the approach would be that um, we would need to be constantly um, conscious of this relationship in ourselves that there's always for instance if I am too much into my rational approach conscious rational logical mode then there will be always a counterpart to that to compensate my one-sidedness because there would be always two and always a field and so the idea would be then that as long as I am not open-minded as long as I shut my mind off for signals and warnings both in my body my dreams my feelings but also in my environment in my relationships that that would more and more make me live in a very one-sided and out of balance situation and then reality would be constantly trying to get me out of that <laughs> 